Okay, Chiapas people, a few words um, specifically for you. Your packing is going to be pretty similar to what Elizabeth did. Pack light, go fast. Think about what you want to haul with you for three weeks. It's not going to be 50 pounds of checked luggage, guaranteed. Um, so when you go to the jungle, everybody's allowed a backpack or a duffel bag, something like that. Um, this works great. Some people have a larger hiking backpack. You don't need it. If you have it, you can bring it. Um, but you can pretty much live out of that for a week. So my strategy is a little bit different as far as bag distribution. Um, I want to pack my backpack so I can take it straight to the jungle and save repacking it when I land in Chiapas. So sometimes I'll put more clothes in my backpack, um, like my jungle clothes go here, my dress clothes, or whatever clean town clothes I'm going to wear goes in there. Um, toiletries, of course, go in here. And like Elizabeth said, all of your valuables go in your backpack deep. Um, I have a waste pocket and I had stopped for lunch at the airport, pulled out the money to pay for lunch, put my 10-15 bucks back in my pocket because I didn't want to take the time to find my wallet. Um, took it to the jet bridge, handed it to the person, picked it up at the jet bridge on the other side, got home and found out all I had left was a couple of ones. So anything valuable stays with you on the plane at all times. Um, so some specific gear just for Chiapas. Of course, bring your pack towel or you know some ultra light, very small. You're going to need it, but you don't want a lot of bulk. Your bedding is provided for you. You'll get hammock, blankets, pillows, stuff like that. So you don't have to get all of that in your backpack. And food is also packed separately. So this is just your personal clothes, toiletries, and whatever. Um, I take a pair of hiking sandals, or if you don't have hiking sandals, tennis shoes work fine. Also, just make sure they're old because they will get dirty. Um, and then I'll pack like some flip flops for bathing because um, it gets muddy. Like so, anytime just in the evening when I want to take off my jungle sandals, I'll put on some quick flip flops. Nothing expensive. Um, I take a pocket knife because I'm always using it. If you don't have one, you don't have to buy it. All the guys on the team will have pocket knives, so don't worry, girls. Um, but I usually I like to bring my pocket knife, and it's a pretty decent one. And don't forget, um, that does not go in your carry-on suitcase. I almost put it in my carry-on one time and thankfully checked it. So if you're checking a bag, you've got team supplies, or um, you're bringing stuff down for the Terrells or the orphanage or whatever, throw your pocket knife in there. Otherwise, you don't really need to bring one. Um, a hat is great because we do wash hair, but it's usually a bucket mechanism and um, find a buddy, wash your hair, but if you don't get it done every day, bring a hat. Um, you don't really need to bring curling irons and all that kind of stuff because electricity isn't as reliable, so just kind of skip on that as much as you can. I like to bring a raincoat because we're going to the rainforest and it works better than an umbrella when you're unloading a trailer in a downpour or you're doing a kids program and all of a sudden it starts raining. I like a raincoat, but you don't have to bring it. Bring a poncho, bring an umbrella, just don't spend a lot of money, bring what you have. Um, but mine folds up really, really small and would actually fit in one of my very small pockets. Everything for um, that I want absolutely to stay dry goes in a Ziploc bag, which would be my socks and underwear. Um, I also have my iPad mini, and although I don't like to take a lot of electronics, this is my Bible, my journal, backup for all of my photos while I'm out there. Um, it's a dictionary, it's all the books I want to read. Um, so this saves tons of space as far as packing stuff. It also goes in a Ziploc bag. It does rain a lot out there. It's not constant, but it does rain a lot, so keep things dry. And then, of course, pack your liquids in a Ziploc, too, because you don't want your shampoo floating all over your jungle clothes and you have nothing left. Um, deodorant does not count as a liquid, so you can pack that separately. That is required if you're on my teams. Um, toothbrush and toothpaste, pack that on the plane. You'll definitely want it. Your dentist can give you the small stuff. It works great, lasts all the time. Bring your vitamins, emergency is your friend. Um, bring your Advil. You don't have to bring a lot of medicine because we'll have that for the team, but bring just your personal stuff, some vitamin C, whatever you use. Um, and I actually have a backpack that I just recently got 
that I really like as far as the whole security thing. I've got an SLR camera, which tends to be bigger. My backpack actually has a back flap, so nobody can steal my camera while I'm wearing my pack. Um, so I can put my camera in here, all the batteries and stuff like that. This is just a great little day pack. Um, I'll stick my mini in the front along with my passport because it can go pretty deep down here. I can put my water bottle on the side. And then I still have um, an upper pouch that I can get all of my toiletries in the Ziploc. Um, and anything else that I need can just go right on top. So super handy. This is another backpack idea if you've got some expensive stuff that you don't want stolen. Bring that. Um, and this one actually conveniently has a rain guard on the bottom that you can just pull over. So basically, um, headlamps, flashlights are great. Headlamps are nice because they're hands-free for washing dishes, outhouses, um, stuff like that. If you don't have one, don't buy it. Bring a good flashlight. A couple final tips. You're bringing a backpack to the jungle. You're going to have to carry it a short ways. You're not hiking for miles, but you are going to have to carry it a short ways. Pack your backpack ahead of time. Throw it on your back, take it downtown for a couple hours. If it's uncomfortable to wear, it means you're bringing too much stuff. Um, take it back home, sort through it, and decide what's absolutely essential. Make sure all of your clothes um, can be worn with multiple outfits. It's not worth bringing anything you're going to wear once. Um, and as far as the amount of clothes that you need, I usually take a clean shirt for each jungle day, two to three pairs of capris or pants. Um, I have a thing for socks in the evening, so that's just my personal thing. Um, but you don't need tons of it. We can do laundry at the Terrells about once a week. So you'll be out in the jungle for a week, we'll come back, wash all our clothes. You can wear the same jungle clothes to the orphanage. Bring a couple of nice outfits for town, you know, like some nice casual type stuff for town and church. Um, and we'll wash at the end of the week, we'll take you back out to the jungle. You can come home and wash before you actually get home. So you don't have to pack tons of stuff, make sure it's comfortable to carry, pack light, go fast, and you'll thank us later.